Not everybody has the ability to focus on the game for 10 hours a day, but throwing it up on a second monitor and AFKing while you get some work done is a great way to make some passive GP or gain some XP. And with that in mind, welcome to AFKing 9 to 5. Fellas, welcome back to AFK 9 to 5. In this episode, we'll be doing a lot of fishing to make a little bit of money. In this one, we'll be fishing Sacred Eels and Infernal Eels. Both of these have different requirements and different rewards, so let's get started with Sacred Eels. These are located in the beautiful and luscious town of Zolandra. You can catch these basically right next to the boat you take to Zolra. To catch these eels, you'll need partial completion of Regicide. You just need to get to the point where you can get to this area. And then you need to talk to the High Priestess before you're actually able to catch them. On top of that, you'll need 87 fishing and at least 72 cooking to catch these eels. For catching these, there is no banking. You catch them and I guess technically cook them on the spot. Today I'll be wearing full anglers, and that's it. I'll be bringing my fishing rod as well as some regular fishing bait and a knife. You can use the equipable fishing rod from Aerial Fishing here, but I spilled oil all over mine, so I'll be only using that for the second half of this video. You can also use Rod as Blessing here to increase your GP a bit, but I didn't remember that before I did my day, and not using it I think gives a more realistic rate for everyone. If you're wondering why people catch these eels, it's for Zolder scales that can be extracted from them. And this process has some interesting mechanics based on your cooking level. Each eel that you cut up will give you 100 cooking XP, plus an additional 3 XP per scale you get from it. And the amount of scales you get from it will scale based on your cooking level. Instead of listing all these ranges, I'll just show you them on the screen. And this will require a bit of math for our final numbers, but don't worry, I'll do it for you at the end, so you have an accurate GP and XP rate estimate at the end of this section. As with most fish, your catch rate for these eels will scale based on your fishing level. But lucky or unlucky for us, the success rate is pretty low regardless of what your level is. This is good in our case because 1. It makes it more AFK, and 2. It makes the XP rate not vary dramatically between level 87 and 99. At level 87, your success rate is about 20%, and at 99, it jumps all the way up to 24%. So if you are level 87 fishing, you should only expect to get about 4% less XP than I am. But in 8 hours of fishing these eels, I caught 1,673. This got me 180,000 fishing XP for the day, or about 22.5 per hour. You do also get cooking here, but uh, I'm a bit of a nerd, and I have 200 mil cooking XP, so I couldn't track my XP, but... We can do some math to see how much cooking XP you should get on average for the cooking level ranges we spoke about before. If your cooking level is 72 to 79, you can expect 116 cooking XP per eel on average. That's 194,000 XP for the day, or 24k per hour. At 80 to 87, you can expect 120 cooking XP per eel, or 200k XP for the day, or about 25k per hour. At 88 to 95, you can expect 124 cooking XP per eel, and that's 207k or 25.8k per hour. And at 95 cooking or above, you can expect 128 cooking XP per eel on average, and that's 214k XP for the day or about 26.7k XP per hour. And that's a bunch of math, so let's just talk about something more simple. Let's talk about the AFK times. My AFK times were about 1 to 3 minutes. But this varied a lot and it was not super consistent. You can AFK a little bit more by letting the eels automatically dissect themselves, but during my day I manually cut all my eels as it's fairly quick to cut them as you move between spots. My day of sacred eels got me 11,718 Zolra scales, which is almost perfectly average for my cooking level being 0 0.004 above 7 scales per eel. This netted me 1.4 million GP, but just like that cooking XP, this GP will also scale based on your cooking level. And normally when we do activities that make GP, we calculate our supply costs into it, but the use of standard fishing bait here is one to one, so every bait you use you'll catch one eel, and in my day I spent less than 5k GP in bait, so it doesn't really affect the price at all. GP wise, 
If your cooking level is 72 to 79, you can expect about 6,692 skills per day or 836 per hour. At 80 to 87, you can expect 8,365 skills per day or 1,045 per hour. At 88 to 95, you can expect 10,038 skills per day or 1,254 per hour. And at 95 or above, you can expect to receive the same amount of skills as I did. This is a great activity for making some money, but the price of scales go up and down a lot depending on if the hot content requires a serpentine visage or a blowpipe. Right now we have Desert Treasure 2 bosses, and none of these really require either. You do technically use the blowpipe at the Leviathan, but it's not actually best in slot, so right now these scales are pretty low. But doing this for a long period of time is not a bad idea to stockpile these and sell when they're high. A lot of people fish here for GP, but they also fish here for clues. Depending on your fishing level, clues here are roughly 1 in 500, meaning you should get about 3 per day. I had no clues in my bank at the start of the day, and I ended up with a medium and a hard clue. So not bad. I can't complain. Another reason people fish here is for the pet chance. The pet rate right here is pretty good. I got my first fishing pet here, and I got three more later on at Karambwans, so maybe that says something, but the base rate for the pet here is 1 in 99,000. This means it would take you 57.87 full work days, or 463 hours to get the pet here. And if you're pet hunting here while having 95 cooking or above, you would roughly make 81 million GP grinding out this pet. And my god, was that a lot of numbers. It's time for me to take a small break, and then jump into Infernal Eels tomorrow. It is time for another fun day of working and catching some eels. Infernal eels can be found in Moral Wreck, just east of the Inferno entrance. Today I'll be using an almost identical setup that I used at Sacred Eels, and I just think it's fair to not use Rodus Blessing here because I forgot about it for Sacred Eels. So again, you could get a little bit more than I'm getting today. The only difference in my setup today is that for Infernal Eels, you actually need a hammer to dissect them instead of a knife. You also need to wear ice gloves here, and mine might look a little bit weird compared to what you have or what you remember ice gloves looking like, but this is just the smithing gauntlets you get from Giant's Foundry since I put my ice gloves in them. These eels work very similarly to sacred eels, but thank god I do not have to do more eel math for this section. To catch these eels, the requirements are pretty simple. These eels have a bit higher requirements in some sense, but also a set of lower requirements. To catch these eels, you need completion of the fight caves. You need to show your fire cape to the city guard to gain access to this portion. It's actually a pretty common misconception that you need to sacrifice your fire cape to get access to this area, since it's where the inferno is, but that's just not true. You only have to sacrifice your fire cape to jump into the inferno not to access the inner city. Outside of that, you'll need 80 fishing, and also there is no cooking requirement for these eels, but the downside is you won't get any cooking XP here. And although these eels don't require cooking math like they did for sacred eels, they do kind of work similarly. When dissecting infernal eels, you're basically rolling a drop table. Each one you dissect, there's a 1 in 16 chance you receive an onyx bull tip, and a 1 in 12 chance of receiving a lava shard. You'll also roll the chance to get Tockle, but this one is almost guaranteed being a 1 in 1.1. On average, per eel you should expect to get 0.25 Lava Shards and 0.0625 Onyx Bolts, as well as 14 Tockle. Again, similar to most fish, your catch rate will scale based on your fishing level. And again, lucky or unlucky for us, the success rate is pretty low regardless of what level you are. This is good in our case because, again, one, it makes it more AFK, and two, makes the XP rate not vary a dramatic amount between level 87 and 99. At level 80, your success rate is about 31%, and at 99, it jumps all the way to 36 so if you're doing this yourself and you're level 80 fishing, you should expect to get about 5% less XP than I'm getting. In 8 hours of fishing these eels, I caught 2,496 infernal eels. This got me 243,000 fishing XP, a substantial jump up from sacred eels, and this comes out to be about 30.4k XP per hour. The AFK time here is very similar to sacred eels, it's about 1-3 to three minutes per spot, and again you can make this a little bit longer by AFKing the dissection part. I did actively cut my eels both days, so if you decide to AFK this part, your XP rate will drop significantly to what you've seen in this video. In these 8 hours, I also got 35,571 Tockle, 827 Lava Shards, and 135 Onyx Bolt Tips. Lava Shards and Onyx Bolts are pretty easy. 
you'll get a direct number of the GP you'll get, but Tokul is a little bit more interesting. Tokul can be used to buy items within the Tazar shops. You can use it here to buy items which can then be sold on the GE, technically giving it a GP value. This number can go up and down quite a bit, but right now you can get 6 GP per Tokul by buying Obsidian Plate Legs, and this number goes up to 7 GP per Tokul if you wear Karamja Gloves 1, which are obtained from the Easy Karamja Diary. And with this knowledge, per day I technically made an extra 250k GP for the day. So with my Onyx Bolts giving me 1.1 mil, my Lava Shards giving me a measly 42k, and my Tuckle giving me 250k, I technically made 1.35 mil for the day. But GP is not the only reason people catch these eels. Just like Sacred Eels, these ones also drop clue scrolls, but at a much higher rate, being about 1 in 917. I did the two clue scrolls I got yesterday, and with a bank free of clue scrolls, today I only got one easy clue. People also fish here for the pet chance. The pet is much more rare here, being a drop rate of 1 in 160,000, meaning that this pet would take you 64.1 full working days, or 512 hours, this would make you roughly 86.4 mil while going after that pet at a rate of 160,000 GP per hour. And that was AFKing Eels 9 to 5. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking it. By liking the video, you're more likely to see a video from me in the future. This is surprisingly more effective than subscribing, but you should do that too. I'm sorry it took so long to get a video out. I am addicted to Vardorvis. Thank you so much to my YouTube channel member Snacks for your continued support. In the next episode of AFKing 9 to 5, I am going to be doing a Tebow Rebuild Classic. A little bit of PVM for you guys. If you want to see some more AFK content, you should see it on the screen now, but I've got nothing left to say, so I'll see you in the next one.